Hi guys, so today's video is all about how to wear a beret. So I absolutely love berets, as you can tell, my collection is pretty big, I mean I have more elsewhere, they're kind of scattered around the house, but I have a beret in every single colour because I absolutely love wearing them. I find them really brilliant to cover up second day hair that I can't be bothered to style or I can't be bothered to wash. I also find them great for adding a little bit of something something to an outfit. They really spruce up an ordinary and slightly plain outfit as well. And not only that, they're super on trend at the moment and also super easy to wear. You just need to know how. I wear berets so much in my real life and also over on my Instagram. And the first question I always get when I post a picture is, how on earth do you wear them? How do you put them on? How do you style them? So I thought what better video to make today than a beret styling video. So I'm gonna show you four ways to wear a beret on your actual head, how to actually put them on and how to have your hair and so on. And then I'm also gonna show you four outfits that I like to wear with berets and how I tend to generally style a beret and how I know when to add a beret to an outfit. So carry on watching if you want to know how to style and wear a beret and all your life will be happy again because we won't need to wash our hair as much, which is always a bonus in my book. <laughs> So the first way to wear a beret is make sure all the hem is tucked under. Just grab the beret like so and put it over the front of your head. So you want a little bit on your forehead with this look. And as you can see, I've got this bit of hair here. Normally I would tuck this back like so, just to kind of get it out my face. And I feel like it looks better a little bit further back. As well, if you've got a fringe, this is a really good time to kind of tuck your fringe up into your beret because it can be really nice sometimes to have a no fringe day. So this is the perfect look for that. So yeah, so that is literally the first way to do it. Super easy, just pop it on your head, tuck your hair a little bit back just so it feels comfortable and looks a little bit more right for your face. It kind of frames your face rather than covers it up. And yeah, super easy. to wear a beret works better with a middle parting. So I'm just gonna pop mine into a middle parting, like so. It doesn't matter about the back of your hair because you won't see that anyway. So then you want to grab your beret and we're actually gonna place this towards the back of our hair this time. So you just want to put it there and then holding it with your hands at the back, you kind of place it behind the front of your parting so that you get this kind of front section hanging down and this is really nice if you prefer to have a little bit of hair frame in your face as well but then once you've popped that on and you've got this little bit of parting and the hair hanging down what i actually prefer to do is just tuck one side behind my ear and then pop the beret kind of so it covers my ear you have this little cute bit of hair here and you have one side where your hair is in your face and i think that just looks so cute it's a very kind of funky look works really nicely with big hoop earrings but that is a really simple way of wearing a beret when you have got slightly freshly washed hair or a lot of dry shampoo works a treat <laughs> style that includes a little updo. I'm just going to pop my hair into a really really easy low bun but I'm going to leave a few sections just at the front just to frame my face. I'm just going to pull those out first. I guess these would be the normal bits that you'd leave down if you had this kind of hairstyle. So then just grabbing a little bobble on my wrist I'm just going to pop my hair into a super low bun. Obviously if you've got Longer hair, you can kind of wrap it round, or if you've got short hair, you could just leave it in a little ponytail. I just like to do a little kind of fold on under bun, because that's all I can do, but that will gradually go like really spiky anyway, and probably go into a ponytail, so it doesn't matter. You just want to like focus mostly on these sections, because these are the bits that are seen when you've got the beret on. Obviously you can't see the top section anyway. So then you want to grab your beret, and then just pop this on, kind of like the last step. You just want to, put it on the front and then you can sort out the front of your hair just to make it not so in your face like so. I like just to pull them round a little bit to the side. It looks kind of better over your ears and stuff. So I'm just gonna do that. Just kind of, I guess just kind of work it until it looks right <laughs> is the general thing with those sections. Then as you can see, you have the little bun sticking out 
at the bottom as well, which I think looks super, super cute. And it's super easy as well. <laughs> have a look that's mostly over to one side and this is very Parisian and I absolutely love how this looks. First up you just want to boof up your hair a little bit just to make it look a little bit thicker if like me you have thick hair probs. Basically the side that the beret should sit on is where your hair is the thickest. So for me it's this side because as you can see my parting is over to this side so most of the hair is here. So on the thinner side of hair you want to just tuck that side behind your ear like so. Get the beret and then you want to basically put it on like normal, but using this hand here, drag down the beret over to this side. And as you can see, that makes it nice and low, but then it's still nice and high up on this side. And then that's given us like most of the beret sitting down here. And as you can see, I'm just pulling this bit of the beret down. So it's really over to the side. You can move this section of hair out of your way if you want, or if you've got a fringe or a side fringe, you can leave it there. And there you go, how easy is that? And it looks super, super trendy, it looks very French, and I think it looks really cool. I really love. This dress is from River Island. It's £95, so it's quite an expensive piece, but I love the fact that I can wear this casually or to a wedding or a party with some heels. It's a really versatile piece. So today I've gone for a more casual look with it. I've got it on with some little boots. These are from New Look. They're super comfortable, even though they've got a heel, which I absolutely love. And then I popped on a little black belt. I believe this was from ASOS. And I feel like cinching it in with a belt just gives it a little bit more of a casual feel. And then I popped on my lilac beret. Now I would actually wear this with a black beret as well to even out the black shoes. Maybe if I had a black coat, I'd go for black. But I wanted to show you how really, really cool it is to just mix and match colors. So as you can see, this dress has a lot of lilac in it. It's got little lilac flowers all over it. So I think the beret goes perfectly with the lilac. And I love to kind of coordinate my beret to my dress. So that's one trick that you can definitely do is take out bits of colors from a pattern and pop the colors into your beret. I think it looks really nice and especially this lilac one, which is one of my absolute favorites because it goes with so much. This jumpsuit, which is by a brand called AX Paris, is black with white stars all over it, which I love. Just popped on a little red jacket, and I believe this is from Misguided, I think, but I'll leave the link to it below if it's still online. It's a little bit old. It's a faux suede material, which I love, and of course, I've matched it with a red beret. I've got a monochrome base outfit, so here I have a monochrome black and white jumpsuit, which is my base item. Popped on a jacket that's red with a beret, and that's just enough. I wouldn't push it any further by adding any more red. I'd probably go for black shoes, as you can see, and a black bag. But I just really like how this looks. I think it's a really cute outfit, perfect for daytime, but also in the evening as well. So yeah, I think the injection of red with the beret as well just makes it a little bit more interesting. So love this outfit. <laughs> more casual look. This jumper is from a brand called Borken. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I'll leave the link below um, so you can go and shop directly over there. It's such a lovely soft piece and I love the fact it's got a little pop of pink but it's mostly grey and that's why I popped on my grey beret just to match the greyness. If I had an exact match to this pink I would pop that on as well but my pink beret um, as you can see is just a little bit too um, bright pink. I have got this I mean, I've got an array of pink ones. I feel like this isn't the right color either. So I've gone with gray and I think that works just as well. In fact, it's very casual and very kind of subtle as well. Just in case you don't fancy a colored beret. And then I've just got some black jeans on from Topshop. These are my Joni jeans, which I love. And then again, the new look boots that I've been wearing this whole video because I love them so much. So yeah, a more casual look, something you can wear during the day. But I really, really love how the addition of the beret just makes the outfit something special. And if I take the beret off, as you can see, 
it's just a little bit like nothing without it. So I think adding the beret just adds something else to the outfit to make it look like you've made a little bit more effort when really it's super easy. So yeah, that's why we're berets basically. <laughs> And then we have the classic black beret, and I love this outfit. So this little t-shirt here has some little ladies on it, and it says the sad faces. This is by a brand called Joni Clothing. Lovely t-shirt, really soft and really, really comfortable as well. And then over the top, I popped on this polka dot blazer, which again, is from a brand called Balken. This blazer is such a lovely feeling blazer. It's got no, I mean, it's got a little tiny shoulder pads, but nothing major. Really nice material, and it doesn't feel restrictive. So it's really nice and comfortable. And it comes down to a really nice length. You guys know I love my blazers to be a bit longer. So I really like the length of this one. And then I've got my Joni jeans on still, and my new look boots, and then a black beret. So I went with black for this because I did have a pink one on, but I think that's maybe a little bit too much pink clash in there. So again, if I had a pink that exactly matched this, I probably would go with that. But I thought I'd show you what you can do with a black beret as well, because added a little bit of pattern and a little bit of colour and then a black beret just kind of finishes it off. I love a beret paired with a blazer as well. So this blazer looks quite smart, quite like organised and sophisticated and sometimes you just don't want to feel like that. So adding a little beret can kind of make the blazer look a bit more casual, kind of casuals it up a bit, takes away that kind of smart sophisticated look if that's what you want which is what I want and then the little t-shirt also adds to that as well. Black beret is probably the one you want to start with the most. It's my most worn beret because obviously black goes with everything and again if you've got black boots, black trousers and a black beret try and add a bit of colour here and a bit of pattern just to break it up. This is what the outfit looks without the beret so I think you can see that the blazer looks a lot more smart and kind of workplace vibes without the beret so just a really nice way of casually an outfit up. So there you go guys, that is four ways to wear a beret and four ways to style one as well. I hope this video was helpful to some of you guys that have been thinking about investing into the beret trend but not really sure how to wear one or how to style one. Just go for it, you won't regret it. They are the best things in the world. So if you don't own a beret, all of the ones I have pretty much are from eBay. I think the most expensive one that I have here from eBay was £3.50. They're super cheap, they're the price of a cup of coffee pretty much. So as you can see, I like to buy a beret instead of a coffee some days. And they do every colour you could ever imagine as well. And I will leave a link below to all of the ones that I have, pretty much, all the different colours and the sellers that I get them from. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And if you're not already, please do subscribe. I'll leave my face on the screen at the end of the video. And if you're already subscribed, you know the drill. I'll see you next Sunday for another video.